One of the coolest things about having a brother is having someone to talk about your parents talk, <laughs> when they're driving you nuts. So when dad was following me around the house turning lights off, <laughs> unplugging the air conditioner when it was 95 degrees out, or when mom was talking so loud the neighbors shut their windows, <laughs> we had someone to laugh with about it. Even now, we live 700 miles apart and we still talk about it. <laughs> Page two. <laughs> when I entered high school as a freshman, I, like most ninth graders, was pretty intimidated by the older guys, especially if you're on the football team. The seniors love beating up the new guys, the young little freshman guys. But I was never touched as a freshman because Big Joe was my brother. And even though he usually made up for it by kicking my butt at home, he never let anyone else touch me. Thank you. Joe also helped me out because he was such a mature student in school that when it became my turn, all the teachers already liked me because of him. Now, how long that lasted is another story, but you made it easier on me, thank you. Being the little brother can be fun because you get away with a lot more. But one of the really stinky parts of being Joe's little brother was the hand-me-down clothes. I always got Joe's old stuff, his old clothes, his old shoes, which weren't always the freshest. So when I was a kid wearing a Ghostbusters t-shirt five years after the movie came out, and I was wearing shoes I could swim in, and I was wearing his 1997 Letterman jacket, and I was class of 2000. When I talk to him, he's usually in a great mood, and it's weird. And I can see why he is. Liz is a wonderful woman. I remember when he called me the first time about Liz, he sounded like a little kid describing his first time at Disney World. <laughs> if there was a mo this was a movie, there'd be a little blurry spot over there. He was way into her, and he still is way into her. And Liz, you're a lucky girl. Joe is one of the most honest, devoted, and trustworthy guys I know. He would jump in front of a bullet for you, as long as you kept him fed. <laughs> you two are going to be very happy for a long, long time. Now that you two have finally tied the knot, let's see who can give mom and dad the first grandbaby. <laughs> We've been practicing, so good luck.